Hello everyone. In today's video, we're diving into a topic that's important for anyone earning a paycheck or running their own business. The difference between FICA tax and self-employment tax. Both of these taxes contribute to funding Social Security and Medicare, but they apply to different groups of people. So, let's break down the key differences. Difference 1. Who pays these taxes? First up, who actually pays these taxes? If you're employed by a company, your FICA tax is taken care of by both you and your employer. That's right. Your employer withholds FICA taxes from your paycheck, and they also match that amount by paying the same percentage on your behalf. So, it's a shared responsibility. But if you're self-employed, it's a different story. You're responsible for the entire self-employment tax yourself. This means you're covering both the employee and employer portions, which can add up fast. Difference 2. The tax rate. Next, let's talk about the tax rate. For those with a traditional job, the FICA tax rate is 15.3%. But don't worry, you're only paying half of that. You pay 7.65%, and your employer covers the other 7.65%. This 7.65% is broken down into 6.2% for Social Security and 1.45% for Medicare. If you're self-employed, you pay the full 15.3% on your own. That's right, all 15.3% comes out of your earnings, with 12.4% going to Social Security and 2.9% to Medicare. Difference 3. Who gets the deduction? Now, here's where it gets interesting. If you're an employee, you can't deduct FICA taxes directly on your tax return. However, if you're self-employed, you can deduct the employer-equivalent portion of your self-employment tax. So, 50%. As an adjustment to your income, this helps lower your income tax bill, though it doesn't reduce the self-employment tax itself. Difference 4. Income Reporting For employees, FICA taxes are automatically taken out of your paycheck, and your employer reports this on your W-2 form. Easy, right? But if you're self-employed, you have to report your income and calculate your self-employment tax on Schedule Southeast, which is filed with your personal tax return. Difference 5. Thresholds to apply. Lastly, let's talk about thresholds. The IKEA taxes apply to all earned income up to the Social Security wage base limit, which gets adjusted every year. For example, $160,200 in 2023. The Medicare portion, however, has no wage base limit. It applies to all your earnings. The same goes for self-employment tax. It applies to all net earnings from self-employment up to that Social Security wage base limit with no cap on the Medicare portion. And there you have it, a breakdown of the main differences between FICA tax and self-employment tax. Whether you're employed by a company or running your own show, understanding these taxes is crucial for managing your finances. If you want to quickly estimate your FICA tax, be sure to check out our FICA tax calculator. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe our channel.